Hi, this is Dave from Buzzy. In this video, we'll look at using the Buzzy Figma plugin to add a form to our app straight from Figma. So here's a Figma design. It's a simple app consisting of a couple of screens and basic navigation that we've previously already marked up. The new thing is this form. So let's turn this into a live form in our app using the plugin. The plugin's already open here. So let's just select the form wrapper and we make this a form. So because type role is component and the type is form. And then we can give it a name. Um, in this case, it's going to be add a space ship form. There it is. Uh, the micro app name. Now micro app is what Buzzy calls a data container. So we can read data from it or we can write to it. And in this case, we're trying to write to it. it. Doesn't exist yet, but we can create it straight from the plugin here. So we call this spaceships. And the form layout mode, in this case, the forms can have multiple modes, read, edit, and capture. In this case, we're capturing. So we're writing data straight to the container, our spaceships container there. So that's the form marked up. Now let's look at the fields. So we can go down into the, select the field item here. This can be marked up. Its role is a field. Its type, um, so for the image, we're just gonna use a hosted image approach. So we'll just make that URL. Um, the field mode in this case is insert. So we're creating data. The micro app name we've already defined, that's spaceships, that's our data container. The field name in this case can be spaceship image. There it is. Now you notice there's this advanced settings button here. That'll be available once the micro app's been created. So we've only just defined it. We haven't actually updated our published app yet. So it doesn't exist until we do that. And that, once we do that, advanced settings for these fields will become available, give you more options. Uh, next field is this one. So again, field type, in this case it's a name, so it's just plain text. It's again, insert mode. The micro app name, spaceships, and the field name in this case will be spaceship name. There we go. And then this last field here, Again, it's a field type. Uh, we'll just make it plain text again. Description, um, it'll be insert mode. The micro app name is spaceships again. And the field name in this case will be spaceship description. There it is. So that's it for our fields. Um, now let's look at this button. We need to submit the form, obviously, so that's what this button will do. Now, in um, Figma, that's just, in our Figma prototype, that's just been marked up as a straight link to a you know, success screen. Uh, in our case, though, we want this button to actually do something when it's in the live app. So we can ignore this and just give it a new role of action. And it's not a navigation action, it's a submit action. And this last step here, action screen, tells the button what to do after it's submitted. So in this case, after it's been submitted, we want to go to this success screen here. So we can just select that here, form add success. And that's our button marked up. Now the button gets its context from this form container that we defined earlier. So it knows what form it's submitting. So this nesting is important here. That's it. So now let's look at this format success screen. So this has already previously been marked up. It's an overlay screen and we've already put close actions on these buttons. So that's fine. Should be good to go. Let's go and update our app. Okay, so that's successfully happened. Now I've already got this open in another screen here, so I'll bring that in. There's our app. Um, if I just make sure it's refreshed. The other thing I'll do is 
you'll notice um, where you get the preview URL, you've also got a buzz URL. Now that's the back end to the app. And when we created, when we updated that app, you'll see it's created this, this is buzzy, the back end. You don't need to really worry about this, but this is to demonstrate what's happening. There's a app tab here, and it's created this data container, micro app, as Buzzy calls it, called Spaceships, which we define. It's currently got nothing in it. And so over here's our live app, which we just updated. There's our first screen, there's our second screen, there's our button, which goes to our form. This works. Somewhat slowly, but there's our, okay, here's our form. Now these should be live fields and we should be able to actually add data and we'll see what happens over here. Um, so let's go and add, we'll ignore image for now. Um, we'll give it a name, my spaceship. Um, we'll add a description, just dump some text in here. There it is. Remember so much. Here we go. Add spaceship. Here's our thank you screen, which we can close. And you notice immediately over here, we've had my spaceship, that form submissions, added the data to our data container called spaceships. That's a working form straight from Figma. Thanks for watching.